Dr. Stein, I heard something about black pepper and how that can be an antidote to THC-related problems. Is that true? Hi, everybody. I am Dr. Dan Stein, and we, we will be discussing that item today. It turns out that black pepper has a component called beta-caryophylline. Beta-caryophylline is found in black pepper and also in certain cannabis varieties. It's a very interesting molecule, and we're going to talk some more about that as part of our series on molecular biochemistry. Beta-caryophylline has special effects when used in cannabis therapy. It binds to the CB2 receptor, basically functioning as a cannabinoid as well as a terpene. It has antioxidant effects. It's a potent anti-inflammatory, and it also protects the stomach lining. So imagine this, a medication that has anti-inflammatory effects and protects the stomach lining. That's beta-caryophylline. As opposed to some of the other pharmaceuticals that are available out there for pain relief, like the non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs that can cause stomach ulcers, beta-caryophylline reduces inflammation and does not cause any stomach irritation. Plus, like black pepper, it has the bonus effect of reducing THC-related overactivity. For example, in patients who use a little too much THC, one toke over the line, if you will, you can use beta-caryophylline in black pepper to reduce that high so you're not paranoid or anxious. It can help slow the heart rate. And as one possible antidote for too much THC, people in the business know that using black pepper, just smelling the black pepper, can help bring them down a little bit. We also know that there are other antidotes to too much THC. For example, CBD. If you use CBD, it can mitigate the effects of THC. But recent studies show that doses of 50 or 100 or 150 milligrams of CBD may be necessary to have that effect. So, when it comes to beta-caryophylline, we know that it has a variety of uses, all beneficial. So please, think about using some black pepper if you're one toke over the line, or if you need anti-inflammatory effects and still some stomach protection. I'm Dr. Dan Stein, and that's our video for today. Please feel free to reach out to us at info at neurologyofcannabis.com.